Let's talk about these issues that they are talking about. Hey, he's a fugitive. He's a, he's a most wanted criminal because when they put you on red alert, eh, on Interpol, it means you are a dangerous criminal. Eh? You are a number one criminal that should be sought by all member countries which belong to Interpol. Some of you may not understand Interpol, it's a global uh, security um, organization that follow crimes relating to you know, terrorism, uh, relating to uh, money laundering, relating to um, you know, other serious crimes. That is, the, that is Interpol. Interpol is not a Mickey Mouse organization. Uh -uh. Yeah? The headquarters is in, is in France. That's where the headquarters is of Interpol. The headquarters of Interpol is in, is in France. I stand to be corrected. But So this is not a Mickey Mouse organization which will entertain a desperate dictatorial government like our government. Interpol doesn't work out like that. And I've come out here so that I can, you know, at least shed some light. Because a lot of our people, a lot of our people, you are so ignorant. Especially these people that support the UPND. They are so ignorant. They don't even want to think, you know. They have borrowed their thinking faculty to the, to the, to the government so that they can think for them. And they just tell them what to do. They don't question anything. They don't question anything. So when you just hear something, oh, Tal is on red alert, they have, they have become so excited. It's like, oh, now Tahari tomorrow is going to be brought back into the country. Let me tell you, you are joking. You are joking. You are joking. Interpol doesn't operate like the way uh, Zambia police operate. Interpol is not at the beck and call of any government. Interpol has got its own rules. It has its own rules. President Haka in the Ichire, we will not, we will not, we will not influence Interpol to uh, fight his political battles. They will not do that. They will not do that. They will follow or they will put a person on red alert who they truly believe that this person is a danger to, you know, the people around. And wherever he goes, he might be a danger. I'm not a danger. I am not a danger. I'm just an innocent, <laughs> innocent guy. I'm, not an, I'm just an innocent guy. I only speak about wrong things. That's all. That's all. Where is the danger in that? I'm only exercising my inalienable uh, rights of freedom of expression. I don't insult. I don't defame people. I just say things as they are. And just because I tell Wahaka in the to say, Wahaka in the you are failing in your running of government. You are, in the you are being a dictator. Does, that doesn't mean I become a, a, a dangerous criminal for Interpol to be looking for me. So, you people who are celebrating, you are celebrating for nothing. You are celebrating for nothing and I can tell you, I can guarantee you, I will never come back in Zambia in handcuffs as you are imagining. Brought by Interpol. Move a I, I may not have, I don't have the confidence in our justice system, in our security system, but certainly I have confidence in Interpol. I have confidence in Interpol. I mean, this is, this is why I'm even wondering this uh, Muvita Nawa, if he will succeed to be a Secretary General. Because Muvita Nawa, I mean, is the African candidate for Interpol to be Secretary General. And they should be having elections, I think, uh, uh, in November of this year. And Muvita Nawa is vying for the position of Secretary General. But with what is happening in our country, come on, I don't see such a person holding that high portfolio. How can Muvita Nawa, you know, coming from a, 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 a police force, it's not a police service, a police service, a police force that is abusing human rights, a police force that is not uh, following the law, 
in terms of how they arrest a person, in terms of how long they, they detain a person. In Zambia, our police has become a political operative organization for the ruling party. Zambia, in Zambia, our police has become a political operative for the ruling party. They are not there to dispense justice. They are not there to dispense justice. They are there to make sure that the President Haka Indeichilema stays in power in spite of his poor governance and poor performance in all fronts. Haka Indeichilema is failing in all fronts. And you think Interpol, Interpol will help Haka Indeichilema like the way uh, the Zambia policy uh, helps. It doesn't work out like that. It doesn't work out. And even you who are, who are busy celebrating, yeah, yeah, let him be arrested. Let him come. Let's run through the cases that uh, you that have been accused of. Let's run through those cases. What are the cases? Number one, you are talking about inciting mutiny. You talk about inciting mutiny. Hey, Tayali was insulting, so was inciting soldiers to rise against the government. How? How did I insult the, 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 the soldiers to rise against the government? When you did not pay them salaries, you did not pay them salaries from January up to March, you didn't pay them of last year. You didn't pay them. And these people, because they are human beings, because they have got families, they complained to the public lawyer. They complained. They said, Mr. Tayani, we haven't been paid. Three months, we haven't been paid. Please, talk to, the, to these people to pay us. Three months, three months in our country, soldiers were not paid. Three months. And of course, generally, like anybody, like anywhere else, even if it was in Britain, they would complain. If you, if you keep people, you know, the security wing, you don't pay them for three months, they would definitely complain. And I told the government on this very platform, I told the government, first of all, I tried to call some of these people. I was trying to call them. I was trying to tell this one to tell this. They couldn't do anything. And when they couldn't do anything, I came on social media and I told them, it is reckless for you not to pay men in uniform for three months. It is reckless. It is dangerous for the country. And surely, unless you are, you are mad in your head, you would think that it is not recklessness. To keep soldiers not paid for three months. You, I mean, you must be crazy. You must be crazy. And I told them, pay the people. I spoke about it on a Thursday. I spoke about it. I spoke about it on a Thursday. I spoke about it on a Thursday. And uh, 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 I think he, on, um, on Friday, they issued a memo to say they will pay them on, on, on Tuesday. Uh, actually, they issued the memo, I think it was over the weekend. They issued a memo that they will pay them on, 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 on Tuesday. And they paid them. So, I advocated, I advocated for those military people, and they were paid. Where is inciting mutiny there? Why should I be in jail? Why should I be in court for speaking against a bad act of a government? Because that's what I did. I spoke against a bad act of a government. Why should I be in court? Soldiers are not paid for three months. I come out, I speak about it, and you pay them. Then you turn around, you arrest me to say I'm inciting soldiers. Who is inciting soldiers? Who is supposed to be in court between me and, 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 and the government? Who is supposed to be in court? Because if you don't pay for three, three months, you don't pay three months a salary for people. I mean, that is an abuse. That is an abuse. You are the one who is supposed to be in court, if there is anybody to be in court, for not paying salaries. For not paying salaries. So... What are you talking about? What, what, what I, sh I, I should be put now, Interpol should put Juliva Tayari on red alert because Tayari spoke for soldiers who are not paid for three months. And you think that is making sense to you? Eh? 
You think that is making sense to you? That is the case number one. Let's go to another case. What case? Uh, hey, another case. Uh, 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 a hate speech against somebody and whatever, whatever, whatever. A case relating to Chief Mukul. I don't want to discuss the details of this, of this case. Because, yes, I spoke about what used to happen during the time of Gassi. And the Mukuni was mentioned in my, in my deliberations. But I went to Chief Mukuni, realizing that Chief Mukuni was hurt, realizing that Chief Mukuni, uh, his reputation was, was uh, compromised. I went to Chief Mukuni, and I reconciled with Chief Mukuni. I went, I apologized to him. You can say I defamed him. But I went and I apologized to him. I traveled 700 kilometers to go and meet him. I met him I, and he forgave me. He forgave me. Chief Mukuni forgave me and told me I'm no longer interested in that case. I'm the complainant and I'm no longer interested. I will tell the national prosecution to stop prosecuting that case. I will tell them. He, he made me that, that, that promise, which promise he, he actually fulfilled. I, am, I, am, I have no doubt in my mind he actually fulfilled because I know there were instances where I could hear Chief Mukuni telling the, 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 the prosecutors to drop the case. I, I, I not at Shana Shan, uh -uh. He told them, drop the case. I'm the complainant. They couldn't drop the case. They couldn't drop the case. Up to today, this is the case that you are talking about to say, yesterday, uh, another bench warrant was, 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 uh, was issued. Why issue a bench warrant on a matter where a complainant has withdrawn? Why? Why is the state holding on to this case? Why? The complainant has said, no, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. And you know, it is only in Zambia where we are criminalizing defamation. Defamation is a civil matter. Defamation is a civil matter. That is why I wanted to even talk about this issue of uh, that uh, Elias. But for now, I will not. I will uh, talk about it later on. But defamation should not be a criminal matter. People should not be going cells, spend days with cells for defamation. No. People should not be going to jail for defamation. No. It's a, it's a civil matter. But you have criminalized it because it suits you. Because it suits you. The president says, no, I've removed the defamation of the president. But now people are being charged, you know, a hate speech, hate speech, hate speech. Really? And you say that is justice that I should sit and wait. Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. Because some of you are saying, oh, if you have no case, why don't you come? How can I sit in court? How can I sit and wait for justice? When I can clearly see that there is no justice. What justice is there when a complainant has, refused, has withdrawn the matter? Has withdrawn the matter. But the state continue pursuing the matter. What justice is there? What justice is there? So, I mean, <laughs> is that a matter? You who are supporting, you who are clapping, yes, put him on red alert. Is that a matter that you think Interpol will entertain to put you on red alert? Eh? Then, let's talk about another one. Which other case? Uh, Bembas are useful idiots. Bembas are useful idiots. I said it. Some of us, Bembas, are useful idiots. And in all logical sense, in all logical sense, that can never be defamation. Defamation against who? That can never be hate speech. If I say some of us members, I even include myself, some of us members are useful idiots. When did being a useful idiot become a criminal matter? When this term, useful idiot, when did it become a criminal matter that somebody should be prosecuted, somebody should go to jail for. 
Somebody should be put on red alert because those are the cases. I'm breaking down for you the cases that I have. Those are the cases that I have. How can that case, is members, some of us members are useful idiots. Honestly. How can that be criminal? That can be brought before the international community for Trifatari to be sought and brought back to Zambia. <laughs> you people, you are jokers. You are jokers. You are jokers, I'm telling you. And your jokes, you are extending them. You are embarrassing uh, the country. You are embarrassing the country. You are embarrassing the country. What another case? What other case do I have? Uh, a seditious practice. Seditious practice and seditious uh, whatever. Now, at seditious intention and seditious practice. People come to my house. Asylants. Asylants come to my house. Dressed in masks. With guns. Or, 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 uh, 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 very sophisticated automated rifles. Not AKs. Special rifles. Rifles which are only owned by the special unit of our military force. Those rifles, only a special unit of our military force on those, 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 those machine guns. They come to my house with, 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 covered with masks like ninjas. They come into the yard. They tie my, my gardener and they go looking for me in the house. Because I saw them through the cameras, I start shooting from inside. And that is how they retreated because they didn't know where in the house I was. They didn't know. But they heard gunshots coming out of the house. And that's how they retreated. Immediately they retreated. I go to police and report this matter. It turns around to say, no, that is seditious intention, seditious practice. How? How? And Imwe. And some of you who are so naive, is that a matter that, he, that uh, Interpol will put Silver Tayari for on Red Direct? At why? At not because he was attacked eh? by people who were wearing masks and they were carrying sophisticated guns, which he believes that they are soldiers and he said they are soldiers. So we are arresting him for that. Why don't you arrest the people that came to, uh, to, to assassinate me? Why don't you? Those people that came to my house to assassinate me, because you can't tell me that they came to, 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 to have tea in my house. They, uh, how? They come with masks, with sophisticated guns. They come to my house. What did they come for? What did they come for? They tie my guard, eh? and they are busy looking for me. And only retreat because I'm shooting from inside. And you think Interpol is that stupid <laughs> to tolerate such cases? Eh? Those are your cases, Baba. Those are just your cases in Zambia. Those are just your cases in Zambia. Because you are abusing the police. You are abusing the justice system. I am arrested. I am driven from Livingstone into Lusaka like a common criminal. Eh? Like a common criminal. Tortured in the process. The following day, because I'm complaining, they accuse me. They, because I'm complaining and that they have no case against me, they accuse me of assaulting a police officer. They accuse me of assaulting a police officer. And we go to court. Who comes to testify? Police officers. Police officers on orders. On orders go and testify. And I know that some of the police officers didn't even want to come and testify in that matter. But they were ordered. They were threatened. Including the complainant herself. The complainant was, was also intimidated. And at the end of the day, they say you are guilty. Guilty that woman they say I beat, she had no mark whatsoever, no tender tissue, no nothing. It the medical report only says general body pains. How can you say 
general body pains and you say a person was assaulted and you convict a person on that. I'm convicted. The poor judge really looks at it to say this is, I mean, politics. Okay, they want you convicted. I'll convict you. But I'll fine you 20,000 kwach. I'm fined. The state appeals. The state appeals because they want me in jail. But you want me in jail. I have done no crime. I've done nothing to deserve me to be in jail. But you want me in jail. Why you want me in jail is to simply silence me. That's all. That's all. You are scared of me. You are scared of me. When I start talking, you are uncomfortable. You are uncomfortable because of the following, including those who criticized me. They criticize me, they, but they follow me. You can say whatever you want. You can belittle me whichever way you want. I am the most feared person. That's why you are even putting me on red alert. How many people have, 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 have skipped a, a court sessions? Have you put them on red alert? Why are you putting Chilifatayari on red alert? Because you fear Chilifatayari. You fear Chilifatayari. But I'm not intimidated. Whoa, I'm not. I am not intimidated. And don't think that I'm out of the country because I'm scared. No, I'm not scared. I have just refused to be a fool. To be that fool that is sitting, you know what is coming before you and you're just sitting there. That is foolish. That is foolish of the outer small. I mean, I'm not foolish. Me, I'm not foolish. So I cannot sit and wait for these guys to come and do me harm, to come and kill me, to throw me in jail. I'm not foolish. I'm not. The day I left, I just beat them to, the intel to their own intelligence. I just beat them to their own intelligence. They were busy looking for a vehicle to come and pick me so that they can transport me in the thick of the night, like the way they did when they took me to Lukulu. This time around, they wanted to take me to Wengwa. That's why they wanted to take me. They wanted to take me to Southern Province. But you know, Lesatalala, God does not sleep. Somebody called me, Tayali, we are coming for you. Somebody called me, Tayali, we are coming for you. We are looking, they are just organizing a vehicle. Once they get the vehicle, you are going. We are going. Lesatalala. God does not sleep. I serve a God above. I serve a God above. I left on a Saturday in the evening. The following day, they were at my house. And you saw what they did. Broke the gate. Broke the doors. Went inside like criminals. Like criminals. Got whatever they could get to cover the evidence. And you say... I should be the one to be on, on a wanted list. I think those police officers who went to my house to terrorize my house, to break into my house, to take things, taking the CCTV, taking uh, cameras, taking computers, those are the ones that should be arrested. Why were you getting, why did you get my cameras? Why did you get my, my computers? Why did you get my CCTV? Why? For what? My internet connection, my modems, you got. Why did you get those things? Because you want to find something. You are fishing, trying to find something that can stick on the Tayari. But you won't find it because I'm an innocent guy. I'm an innocent guy. I'm an innocent guy. All I do is to speak. And that's why some of you, you say your only enemy is your mouth. Yes, I speak and I speak for others. I speak for those who are suffering. That's what I do. I'm a public lawyer. I speak for the public. I don't speak for myself. So that is why I left. I didn't leave because I was scared. I left because I didn't want to be stupid sitting there waiting for them to come and hack me. And God intervened through a person that gave me the intel that they were coming for you. And indeed, true to his word, I left Saturday in the evening. The following day, they were at my house, breaking everything. 
and I should be put on on red alert. Mule tonton kanya, we shake when mule tonton kanya. Are you really thinking? Even you citizens who are supporting them, really, for these cases that I've outlined, really, do you really think I should be on on red alert? I should be unwanted? Do you really think Interpol will be that stupid to accept these cases to be put on red alert? Even yesterday I was traveling. Even yesterday I was traveling. Friday, uh, I left. Uh, <clears throat> I left on on Friday. I went to the beach, you know, in another country. I came back yesterday evening. That's when I came back. I came back yesterday in the evening. I'm flying. I'm moving because I am. I am an innocent person. I'm not a criminal. I'm not a criminal. And, you know, for your own information, I mean, I, I, am, I am moving, I have not even attempted to get asylum. But, because I don't want to, you know, I know these are political cases that should be handled politically. But, with the way you are behaving, I might just get asylum, and I'm sure I can be entertained i can be granted that asylum because your persecution is very evident it's very evident it is sad that you can continue on this trajectory where you can't even reason and it's actually ignorance even for whoever wrote that application to interpol it's actually ignorance because if you are not ignorant you should have known that these are not cases that uh, interpol would pursue it's ignorance they are even laughing at you. Wherever you wrote, wrote that, they are looking at it and they are laughing to say, I mean, what kind of people are these? Is this democracy? Where, because somebody is a politician, somebody is speaking, is offering checks and balances to get to government and you want to arrest them. It is sad. And don't, at no, if you are innocent, come back. I'm telling you, I would have no problem to sit and run through all the trial if i know that justice is there our justice has been compromised our justice system has been compromised our judges are scared our magistrates are scared they have to give justice according to president haka in the and his government if they give anything other than what they want they are in problems magistrates have to be so courageous to rule against the government. There is no losing for the government. If, they, if the government says, you have this case, you must be jailed for that case. And my brothers and sisters, you may be jubilating. You may feel okay because it is happening to Chilfa Tehari. But trust me, these things may happen to you or somebody that is connected to you. So don't get excited when wrong things are happening. I am in problems not because of my own, no. Because I've spoken for others. I speak for many other people that are in, in, in difficult situations. And that's why I'm here. But for you, you think, no, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. It's okay. It's okay. But trust me, dictators, they start with the obvious ones. But eventually, they go into the public. Today we are talking about that young man, Chama. That young man is an innocent taxi driver. Taxi driver. Today, Chama is serving a sentence of 12 months. There, there is that other girl also. Eh? There is that other girl, you know, who was recently also jailed. Many others will be jailed and you just never know. You just never know when it will be your time. Bad things, we should stamp them out. We should say no. Say no to bad things. Don't just clap because it is not you. Because you don't like Chirufa Tayari. Trust me, one day it will be you. What is happening in our country is not right. The police are really abusing their authority. The police are torturing people. You saw that woman. Eh? You saw that woman who was beaten. Eh? There's that woman who is crawling, you know. You, he heard recently that man who died... Muma says, is it from Matero police? Eh? And his son was beaten because 
the man had BP. They wanted to, the, the, the son took, took medicine for him. You know, took medicine for him. And the police beat him up and locked him up. At the end of the day, the father died. Muma says. This is, I mean, our police is a danger now. And when you hear statements coming from the IG, is proper propaganda, proper, proper propaganda. Then go to courts, go to the courts. What is happening in our courts? I believe our magistrates are good. They are good. I am. I have no issue with the magistrates. I have no issue with the judges, except a few of these cadres who have been who have been appointed, and you can and we know that these cadres. But majority of our of our judicial judicial officers, magistrates, uh, a, a registrars, a judges, they are good people. But they are scared. They are scared of this government. So when you are there before them and you are from the opposite side, it becomes very difficult for them. So instead of putting them even under pressure, because me, my cases. I've got no case on which for which I should be convicted. I've got no case. No case. The case here and there here at inciting soldiers. There is no way I can be jailed for that. The case of at the case of seditious practice. There is no way I can be jailed for that. If you are saying those are not soldiers, then show me who are those people who came to my house. If you are telling me that no, Tayali, the people that came to your house to kill you or to attempt to kill you, they are not soldiers, then show me. Because you are supposed to arrest those people and bring them to say, these are the people. You see, you were lying when you said they are soldiers. These are the people that came to your house. They are not soldiers. But you don't have cream. You don't have those people that came to my house. And you, I mean, I mean I'm the one in court. What nonsense is that? What nonsense is that? Then you talk about, no, eh, you said, eh, you mentioned Chief Mukuni. Chief Mukuni is saying, I'm not interested in the case. He has even been refusing to come to court. He has refused to come to court, but the state continues. They even bring other fake witnesses. The person, the main person, the owner of the case has said, no, I'm not coming to court. But who is pushing that agenda? And you think me, I'm foolish. In them, I, Gilbert Piri, I can see Gilbert Piri, the DPP, the Director of Public Prosecution. I'm seeing him tinkering with my life. I'm seeing him doing that. You think I should just sit and wait? At assault, okay, convicted, pay the fine. No, he must go to jail for five years. And you think I should sit and wait? No, Tayari, you should stop talking. Should what good does it what good does it do? I stopped talking. I stopped. I even went to my to my business there. I was busy doing my business, advertising my business. Did they stop? No. They didn't stop because they looked at me like a lion that is sleeping. I was like a lion that is sleeping. They look at it, okay, it is sleeping, but if it wakes up, we are in trouble. The best that we should do is to sort it out. That is what the UPND has done. I stopped talking. So those of you who give me counsel, no, why don't you keep quiet? What good? Even if I keep quiet, it's the same, these people. They are too scared of me. They are too scared of me. I stopped talking, but they couldn't. They couldn't. They, they couldn't. They were just looking at, hmm, this guy, if he wakes up, we're in trouble. Even I'm out here, it's not that they are pursuing me because I've committed a crime. They are pursuing me because they, do, they want to cut me off. They want me to stop talking. They know the best place for where they can be comfortable is when I'm in the cells, isolated, or I'm killed. That is two things that will let by UPND to let go of me. Only two things. One, it's either I'm in jail, I'm in jail. Or they kill me. Only two things. I'm out here. They are very uncomfortable. And that's why they are desperate. Going everywhere. Even going to Interpol. But in Interpol will not. 
Interpol will not. I am not. In, I have all the confidence. Interpol will not stop me anywhere. Interpol will not arrest me. They will not. They will not read. Read what it says. Interpol has got a, a committee. Eh? Is it a what? Do, what do they call that? A, it's like a council that looks at issues. When a matter is presented, they sit. There is a panel that sit to evaluate the matter before. They put it out there that this is a wanted criminal. And I'm telling you, they, there is no way they are going to sit and look at these cases. And by the way, by the way, if you must know, if you must know for you to know, you, I have a right to approach Interpol and also explain my side. I have a right. Interpol provides all these avenues. Interpol, Interpol can call me. I can write to Interpol. And tell them to say, my government is declaring me a criminal. I'm not a criminal. And this is my story. They will entertain me. They will listen to me. I've got all the evidence. All the evidence. So, what are you celebrating? You are just ignorant. You are just ignorant. Allah. Bad. If you are you are in government, but you don't know anything. You think being in government allows you to do whatever you want. Just because you can sell more panel, you can sell... I mean, you are doing things illegal. You are selling a lot of our properties, but all those things are illegal. Because of ignorance, because of arrogance. It won't work. It won't work. You will not, I will not come into that country. Under Interpol, handcuffed. If I want, I'll even write to Interpol right now. I even write to Interpol and tell them. If I want, I'll even, I can even ask for asylum in a country of my choice. If I want. But come on, I mean, you know, let's not get excited. That's, I'm, I'm relaxed. That's why these days I'm not even talking. Let's not get excited. You know, we, we, we can still reserve something because if our country, you know, ends a bad reputation, I mean, it's not good. And I'm avoiding that. I'm a patriot. I'm seriously avoiding, you know, putting my country in a situation where, you know, people start thinking twice about Zambians. I'm enjoying this part. Wherever I go, I put my passport there. They, they, they don't give me problems. I'm enjoying that. And I don't want to spoil that. That's why I have, you know, Taking it easy, taking it easy. I'm just enjoying myself, enjoying my holidays. You know, yesterday I was at the beach over the weekend. I was at the beach. I was enjoying there. You know, I'm just relaxing, relaxing. So don't agitate me to start going into these avenues. Anyway, I, I hope I have belabored on that one. I hope some of you have gotten something out of what I've, what I've said. But I just want to also tell you that, uh, you know, I still remain a president of a political party, economic and equity party. And since I'm out of the country, I am appointing, I'm appointing somebody to be the SG. I'm appointing somebody to be the SG. So, Shamitawa Hamanzi, Shamitawa Hamanzi has been appointed SG for... Shamitawa Hamanzi has been appointed as SG for Economic and Equity Party. I will publish a later and Shamitawa will be, you know, representing me. So if you want media houses and whatever, whatever, if you want to know anything about me, you should contact Hamitawa Hamanzi. He's the, our new SG for Economic and Equity Party. Uh, and this appointment is with effect uh, from right now. Shamitawa Hamanzi is our Secretary General for Economic and Equity Party. Uh, he will organize the party. He will do whatever. Um, I mean, is our is our boss in the meantime. For me, just pray for me. I am well. God is looking after me. Continue supporting me. Uh, those of you who have been supporting me, thank you very much. Continue supporting me. Um, I'll be back home in no time. I'll be back home. I just want things to cool down. To cool down i want things to cool down i'll come back thank you very much i have to go have a good day bye